The Waltz Pomeratos are awesome. They are small, powerful, and reasonably priced. I own both the quarter version and the battery powered version. In this video, I'll show you how to improve the dust collection of those, on those routers using your 3D printer and how you can modify other people's designs right in Bamboo Studio Slicer. The video is part 4B of my DeWalt Airlock series. I split part 4 into two videos, this one being the second. DeWalt does sell vacuum attachments for these routers, so why bother with uh, changes? Well, uh, those attachments don't really fit very well. Even their own adapters fit neither the tool nor the airlock connector. The dust port is also a bit flimsy, and unless you have fingers like a three-year-old, it's really hard to mount or dismount the dust port. I came up with uh, two solutions. First one was an airlock adapter that fits not only the fixed-based uh, dust port, but the plunge router port, as well as the rear dust port on the DeWalt's uh, drywall router. I really wanted a solution where the airlock connects directly to the dust port. The other solution I found online, made by KJS X he goes by, looks very promising. I printed one. However, as you can see, it does not actually fit any of the vacuum nozzles I use in my shop. I wanted one that could hook up to the airlock anyway. So I combined that one with a standard airlock in that I use in all my airlock designs. And as I mentioned already, I combined them directly in Bamboo Studio, so I didn't have to deal with the hassles of converting an STL file to a CAD file. This uh, toolless design is great, but I have frankly not tested it in heavy use, and I am a bit concerned that it may not attach securely enough. Time will show. In the meantime, I want to show you how these two components can be combining bamboo. If you have not done so already, you may need to watch the other video I posted about this uh, to understand the concepts I present. Link in the description. So let's get into Bamboo Studio, open the app. I hit Control i to import the original STL file made by Cages X. Now I need the exact height of the model. To find that, I select Scale and look for the set value. As I showed you in the previous video, we need to add a part to the model in order to combine them. So I select the part and right click and select Add Part. Then I right click on this part and select Center. Well, as you can see, this will not work since Bamboo selected the center of the whole object. How do we line these up? I'm going to delete this and start again. Here's how to do it. I need to make a temporary object, such as a cylinder, right in the center. That will give me something to measure from. So right click on the build plate and select Add Primitive. Select Cylinder. Now hit Scale. What I'm after is a cylinder the same height as the dust port. I need to deselect uh, uniform scale. The X and, and Y measurements do not matter, so I just pick 10 millimeter for both arbitrarily. Then I input the 78 millimeter height for, of the dust port in the set measurement. Hold the shift key while selecting both objects with the mouse. Then select measurement. Hover over the top of the dust port until you see the center point. Then simply left click. Now click on top of the temporary cylinder. Here are your offsets from center. Write them down. 4820 for X and 163 for Y. Now I can get rid of the uh, temporary cylinder. Just back out of this and delete it. Time to add the airlock part for, for real. Right click and select Add Part, click Load and select the STL file. 
Center the airlock by right-clicking and selecting Center. Now to move the part in place, click Move. We need to calculate the set offset. Look at the value, minus 2125. We need to deduct that from the 78 and we get 56.75. Now simply input the numbers. Obviously we have to go opposite the uh, offset on the X and Y axis. So minus 48.2 for X and minus 1.63 for Y and 56.75 for the Z axis. We're done. The part can be saved and printed. It is perfectly aligned and we did not have to open any CAD program or convert any STL files. I hope this video was of value to you. If so, please hit the subscribe button and I'll see you in the next video.